There we go, Rosie. Our first ever diamond. We got it. And we have to protect it with our life. I know. It looks so shiny. And it's so precious. I'm already so attached. I'm afraid we already have bad news, though. What? Why? I don't like bad news, Floki. Look at that, Rosie. There's a giant train that looks like a spider. He's escaping his cage and he's headed right over to our base to steal our only diamond. Oh, no. We have to do something about this. I know, Rosie. We have to make sure that he can never, ever escape and never come to our base to steal the diamond. Okay, Rosie, but before we go out to defend our base, we have to check out the comment wall and see what our buddies are saying and seeing if we have any new challenges. All right, Floki. So Ansel Gabriel Brokal says that we have to put a wither. <gasps> wow, that's such a smart idea. I think whatever we're defending against is going to be super scared of the wither. He might not even try to steal our diamond. All right, let's go. All right, so by the end of the video, we're going to have to make an awesome wither tower to defend our diamond. And if you have any awesome ideas to defend our base, make sure to comment it down below. And you might end up on the comment wall in the next video. Okay, Rose. Rosie, so the first idea that I had is that we make a tunnel above the train tracks filled with lasers. So if he does end up managing to get out of here, he will have to go through the tunnel of lasers. It's impossible for him to survive that, right? Whoa, Floki, that's actually such a smart idea. A tunnel of lasers? He's never going to survive that. That's right, Rosie. So what we need for that is we're gonna need some bedrock. We're gonna need a couple of lasers. And we're gonna need a laser padding. I'll show you what to do exactly, Rosie. Just take this. Thank you. Okay, Rosie. So what we have to do is you gotta make a wall three high, okay? Everywhere. Just make a wall three high for a couple of blocks out. Okay. <gasps> but Floki, do you see that? He's already starting to break out. We have to hurry up. Oh, no. Luckily, we blocked the holes with this wall already. So that's a good start. Okay, that's far enough, Rosie. So what we have to do now is grab a shield pad and put it somewhere at the end right here. No, not over there. We got to start here, you silly, because we got to hook it up with lasers. Look. Oh, Whoa, that actually looks so cool, Floki. I know, right? Look at this. And now we just have to finish this entire tunnel with these lasers so he can never, ever escape. And if he gets out of here, he has to go through a wall of lasers. That's pretty much impossible, right? It is. He's never going to make it. You gotta watch out that we don't actually touch the lasers ourselves, okay? They're super, super dangerous, Rosie. Yeah, they look very dangerous and very painful. We don't want to touch that. There we go. We're nearly done. Oh my gosh, this is starting to look super awesome. We can never get through here. Oh, this actually looks so dangerous, Floki. I can't believe it. Whoa, Rosie, look at that. The entire tunnel is completely filled with lasers. He's going to have such a hard time stealing our one diamond. I know. This is impossible to break through, Floki. We did such a good job. All right, Rosie. So we have to make sure that if he does end up breaking out of this cage, that he will go through through the front, aka through the tunnel of lasers. So we have to make sure he cannot go through the sides or the back. How are we gonna do that, Rosie? Oh, I actually have such a good idea. We should place mines all over here at the sides, at the back, everywhere, so he can't escape. It's actually a super smart idea, Rosie. We're going to put mines all around this cage, so he won't even dare to try and escape from that side. So he will have to go through the tunnels. Okay, let's get some mines out here there we go i'm gonna give you some and just place them all around the sides and the back of the cage watch out though do not walk on them rosie oh look at how many mines there are now oh he actually looks kind of <gasps> rosie <laughs> watch out oh my gosh that was close oh no we have to watch oh rosie stop placing them under me you're placing them under me you silly stop i'm not you're just walking over them i'm not why would you place a mine right behind me of course i'm gonna walk over them all right there we go we place the minefield all around this cage so if he wants to escape he will have to go through the tunnel of lasers but i don't think that it's going to be enough, Rosie. If he actually manages to go through the tunnel of lasers, we gotta have a backup plan. You're totally right. What are you thinking about? So what I was thinking about is we should get this real track over
over here, make it seem like it's going directly into our base, but we gotta divert it. We gotta change the direction of the rail track to another place, and at the end of that rail track, there's going to be a TNT trap. Are you up for it? But it actually sounds so smart, Floki. Let's do it. The first thing we have to do is we have to hide the new rail track. Let's just place some grass down so he doesn't see what's going on. And then right behind this grass, we're going to have a little turn right here. Oh my gosh, look at that. He won't even have a clue that he's going the opposite direction now. Just keep building it that way. We got to keep hiding it. That's perfect. This looks so awesome, Floki. He's never going to suspect a thing. Rosie, you're going to be even more excited if I tell you what's going to happen at the end of this real track. Are you ready for it? I can't wait. Tell me. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a TNT trap at the end of this real track. So under these blocks. Oh, geez. There's a lot of water here. We have to fix that, Rosie. There we go. All right. So what we have to do right now, we just have to place down some TNT blocks like this. Then place the grass blocks on top. He's going to have no idea what's under this, Rosie. And then by the end, we're going to place down some detector rails. So whenever he drives over this, the TNT will explode. But wait, we have to make him stop as well so he doesn't overshoot it and get off the tracks. You're so smart, Floki. This idea is perfect. I know, right? So now we have two or three awesome defenses. First off, he has to come through the laser wall. And then he has to come over here. He's going to find out that there's a little turn here. <laughs> he's going to go over there and he's going to get blown up by TNT. However, if that's not enough, we're going to have to need more defenses, Rosie. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. But Floki, this is perfect. You don't even see it. He's never going to fall for it. For the next step, I think we have to hmm, place another door. I know, right? Our base is not looking very secure. I mean, wooden stuff, wood is not that tough to break. So we have to make the entire base into an impenetrable fortress so no one can ever get through except for us. Yeah, you're totally right. Okay, let me get another door. I'm gonna get several so you can choose from them. All right, just show me what doors we've got, Rosie. We have to pick the best one. All right, Floki, so I picked four doors. I think it is very important that we keep the door small because he's so big, so there's no way he can enter. That's true. That's super smart. We have to pick the securest door that is one tile wide. Oh my gosh, they all look so awesome. Which door would you guys pick? Which doors do you guys think is the most awesome looking one? I think... Rosie. They all look very cool, but this one just looks super secure. Look at that. It's made out of solid metal. I know. I totally agree. We should definitely go with that one. That's so cool. Okay, I'll take it. It's right there. Whoa. Look at that. You can't even see inside now. Our diamonds just got a little bit safer. I know. This is perfect. Right, so the next thing we have to do is we have to make it a super secret door, okay? Not just anyone can be able to open this. We gotta place a keypad down. Now, what do you think is a very good code, Rosie? We have to figure out a code that no one can crack ever. Mm, this is very important and very secret. Let's think. We can ask our buddies, Rosie. What do you guys think is the most hardest code to crack? You gotta comment your hardest code ever so we can put that in, in the next video and no one can ever guess it ever for now i think i'm going to put my personal favorite heart code one 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 one. Oh my gosh isn't that hard it is really hard but you've done that already so i think we should maybe put Two, 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 two. Wow, Rosie, you're super smart. Maybe Choo Choo Charles over there actually saw our videos. That's true. Let's put two, <gasps> two, two, oh, two. But wait, two, two? That is kind of like Choo Choo. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay. We have to put in three, three, three then. Yeah. Oh, no. Three, 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 three kind of sounds like a train going Choo Choo. So we got to put four, four, four. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Well, luckily, we're so smart. Do you guys agree with our decision? Uh, uh, I think. I think we're pretty smart, right? Okay, now let's go out there and see how our little buddy is doing. Do I see that correctly? Wait, did he just... Oh my gosh, he broke more windows. Rosie is almost getting out. Oh no, we have to hurry up for real now. Okay, let's go back. We have to make our house even stronger because wood is not strong enough. We gotta make it a super hard material. So what are we going for, Rosie? Hmm. 
There are a lot of different options. What do you think about diamond, obsidian, or maybe even bedrock? Diamond? We literally have one diamond in there, Rosie. We can't, we don't have enough. Okay, but bedrock is way too OP. Let's go for obsidian. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, I have a super awesome block, Rosie. It's called reinforced obsidian. Whoa, what does that mean? Is that even better than normal obsidian? I think so. All right, Rosie, the first one to get hit is half completely changed wins. Let's go. Let's go. You can't cheat. Okay, Floki, that's not fair. I never cheat, Rosie. You cheat. You're already cheating. I won. Ha, loser, loser, loser. <laughs> You're so slow, Rosie. It's so not fun to play this game with you because you always cheat. How is this cheating? The goal is to do it as fast as possible and I did it as fast as possible, so I won. Yeah, the goal is to do it as fast as possible without cheating so just by hand oh my gosh you're so slow rosie you know what i'm just gonna help you there we go oh no i messed up oh no rosie look at this i accidentally set everything to obsidian our base just got like half its size now but you know what it doesn't matter it doesn't matter that means that that stupid little choo-choo train doesn't fit in our base anymore it's actually perfect i guess okay whatever let's leave it at this okay but i think the back is still not done you didn't do everything there we go rosie i helped you don't worry about it wow thank you so much for your cheating help i really appreciate it all right so we built a couple of defenses and i have a feeling that it might not be enough rosie so we have to build a bunch more okay it's time to create a big lava river all around the base so if he, if he does end up getting here and skipping this little part he's gonna have to fall inside of the lava okay let's make a giant lava mood okay floki let's do it but i think we have to make it four or even five wide because he's so huge that's true he is actually super big wait how are we gonna do this though yo i have an awesome idea we're gonna leave these real tracks here and if he gets over them somehow we'll just destroy the blocks under him and he'll fall directly into the lava that's such a good idea floki let's do that are we going to make it a race again it's going to be a race okay let's do it i'm gonna win for this time no you're not i'm gonna win i'm gonna win no cheating you have to do it by hand floki promise me i am no. doing it by hand i'm doing it by hand look i won Woo! wow floki what not even fun to play with you anymore well but i'm doing it way faster how is this not fun this is awesome it's not cheating is not awesome boom there we go Woo! i'm doing everything so quick rosie look at this we have to be quick okay he's breaking out of there wow you're cheating and you're even missing blocks when you're cheating you're such a noob don't worry about it, Rosie. I'm doing it way faster than you ever could, okay? If you say so. There we go. We completed the lava river around our base. Now, I have a strong feeling that this might not even be enough. So it's finally time to build what the comment wall said we should build, okay? So thank you again for the person that commented. And don't forget, if you want to be on the comment wall, you got to make sure to comment an awesome idea to defend our one little diamond. But for now... Now, we have to make a very awesome looking tower and put two withers in there. Let's do it. Let's get some obsidian. Make like a tower like this this make a little platform on it oh my gosh this is looking awesome already what kind of tower is this going to be i'm a little bit confused well we're going to build a tower like this look at me then we're going to place a wither right on top we gotta fence it in though let's get some awesome nether brick fences so we know that it's super safe up here there we go and then we're gonna have to build the wither so the wither if i remember correctly is built this way okay you make a little tea out of soul sand and you place three heads on top let's try it out boom whoa it actually worked <gasps> That looks so awesome and so dangerous. He looks even more dangerous than the train. Whoa, Arch! What? Ooh. What the heck? Oh no, 
he exploded. We have to make sure he can't escape. No, no, no. Get out of there. Okay, there we go. He cannot escape, okay? He has to stay up there and defend our base. Yeah, I didn't know he could explode things. I didn't know either. I'm a Minecraft noob. Okay, there we go. Let's finish your one. Oh, it has to be a lot bigger, Rosie. What the heck yeah. did you make here? I don't know, but I figured. So I think this is big enough, right? There we go. This is big enough. Okay, let's finish it all up here. So like this. Yep. What head should I use? These these ones. These ones. You can place the final one, okay? Okay, three, two, one. Let's do it. <laughs> Boom. Oh, my gosh. We have two winners defending our base right now. Look at how awesome that looks. Oh, he has no idea what's going to hit him if he ends up escaping. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's impossible for Choo Choo Charles to ever break into this base, but we have to prepare for the worst case scenario, Rosie. We have to defend ourselves even better. Do you know what I mean? I totally know what you mean. The only defense that's missing is us. I think we should make ourselves stronger. That's true, Rosie. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a dispenser armory, okay? So let's get some dispensers out here like this. Then we're gonna get some pressure plays like this. Then we're gonna get a little fence like this. Now, do you remember this from the last time, Rosie? We have to make a very cool and good looking dispenser armory. Yeah, I remember. You put the dispensers right on top like this. That's good. We got to find the best looking armor that we can find. Oh my gosh, there's so many awesome swords. Jungle Miramax, Flamed Dragon Bone Sword. Yo, I'm going to pick that one, okay? You got to find out and figure out what sword you want to use. I'm going to use the Flamed Dragon Bone Sword. Whoa, that looks so awesome. Wait, let me search for mine. And now we also have to pick our armor. Let's see what I'm going for. Or, um, I think I'm going to pick... Wow, this looks like Spider-Man's armor. I'm going to pick that one. And then I'm going to get the Yeti horned helmet. Oh my gosh, I'm going to look so weird. Okay, but it doesn't matter because this all looks super cool. Oh, uh, dragon skin. I need some awesome looking legs. Wow, I think these ones are perfect for this. And now the last thing I need are some boots. Oh my gosh, I have so many awesome ones. I can't pick dragon skill boots. Now that sounds awesome. Awesome. I picked my clothes, Rosie. You gotta pick yours now. I already picked mine, Floki. You you took so long. Wow, that's mean. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, I think it does. All right, place one of your item in every single dispenser, not all in the same one. Otherwise, it doesn't work, okay? That is super crucial. There we go. Let's grab it like this, and then the next time we walk into the dispenser, you will get all the clothes at the same time. It's super awesome. Do you want to test it out? I think we should, Flok. It is going to look so awesome. Whoa, you look so cool. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, my turn, my turn. Boom! <laughs> what? <laughs> Floki, what did you pick? You look so silly. What's that on your head? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I look so bad, but I'm pretty sure that I'm super strong. Look at how big my sword is. Oh my gosh, we are definitely gonna beat him. <gasps> Wait, whoa, what the heck is that sound? Wait, where are the winners? Are they fighting? I, it sounds like it. Whoa. Whoa! What the heck? How did he make it past the lasers, Rosie? Oh my gosh! I really have no idea, but the winners are taking care of him. Oh my gosh, yo, I want to thank the person that commented to use winners so much. We don't even have to do anything. He's just getting the, la the winners for us. Oh my gosh. Let's go back ah. into our base. The winners have turned oh. against us. Okay. Let's go. Get in the base, Rosie. <laughs> run, run, run. Oh my gosh. I'm okay, we have a big problem. Our defense is... Oh, what? <laughs> You're dead. All right, we have a big problem. Our defenses have turned against us. Rosie, the winners have killed Choo Choo Charles and they've turned against us. That's a big problem. How are we ever going to defeat them? To be honest, Floki, I have no idea. I think we should just run for it. Run? No, but we're pretty safe here. You know what? Let's ask our buddies. Buddies, how do we ever get out of this situation? You got to tell us. 